Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. We have made some videos about the COL logical controller connect to your own private cloud server. So at this time, I will tell you, let your relay controller connect to your own private cloud server. So that just like this, uh, you can create your own website uh, running on the mobile phone, like uh, turn on the relay and turn off the relay. This you can see the mobile phone uses 4G uh, for network, not the Wi-Fi. It connects with the cloud server. Uh, that is your own cloud server. We have created uh, by the Amazon EC2 cloud server. And this, uh, if you create your own cloud server, this will be, the country speed will be more fast because our cloud server is in China. And you can create your server in your country, uh, even in your city. So the country speed on and off will be very fast. And the second, if you have own cloud server, your date and the database and the date is stored on your private server. Uh, no other people use it and no anyone can read and write the date. And when I use the mobile phone to turn on and turn off the relay, you can see the speed. Uh, this speed we have test is a mobile phone connect to our cloud server have created on the Europe in London. So when I press the button, the date is from my mobile phone sent to the cloud server in London. And the cloud server will send the date to the relay controller. And the relay controller will feedback the message to the cloud server. And the cloud server will back to the mobile phone. So the send and the feedback uh, I think even if I have long distance between the China and the England, so the speed also is quickly. This is country way by the mobile phone. We have used our cloud server and put the program for this function. And even if you have uh, installed the Node-RED and for the remote country, you can install the nodes for the Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home voice speak that will work without our voice module uh, without the device of the hardware just install the node install the software on the server you can do the voice country so now at this time i will tell you the cloud server integrate the way i will tell you not only for the new version of the controller the older version and the all channel version module controller all will be support like this four channel. This is four channel. And this is two channel, two channel relay controller. And this is 16 channel. And this is 32 channel. So any controller, relay controller, will be support in this way we have created the node and the program have installed on the cloud server. Now let's begin how to do this. This is our node red. This we have installed on our cloud server. At the first time, I want to tell you, you can install or you can prepare for any uh, cloud server. I just take an example for the Amazon EC2 cloud server. You can rent a server or you can put a computer or you can rent a server in your country by any ISP servers. And also you can install Node-RED on your any operating system, just like Windows, uh, Linux, and Raspberry Pi. Just any platform will be OK. So this is just for example. So you can see this, I have in point the follow of the our relay controller. This is many nodes, uh, but uh, so many nodes, but it's just very simple and easy. You can download from our form, development form, Zoom. You can download this uh, relay controller for AWS EC2 uh, zip file. And you download and unzip. You can use this in point. Uh, select file to in point. Just uh, this one, you can in point and open. I have already in point, so I canceled this step. When you in point, uh, you can see many nodes, but the main node is uh, receive, and this is TCP send command. 
This you can double click, and this is listen. Just the controller is a client. The node red is a server. So he is listening on this point. This point is set by your relay controller. Uh, six zero zero zero. And this is for the send command. At this time, we choose reply to TCP. Just uh, which client is connected and send the command to the server. And the server will feedback to the client. So it's corresponding the client to feedback the message. When you're listening at this point, 6000, so you need to uh, log in your root account. If you use 32B, this is a website. Uh, you need to choose the Wi-Fi or Ethernet to connect to your server. At this way, we have used the Ethernet and uh, you choose the work mode to TCP client. And this is uh, our cloud server IP and the point. Uh, this point uh, need as seen as this point. At this way. So the controller, when the power on, will connect to this IP and this part of the server. If you use old Relay controller, you can use the VCon. The VCon choose the device and uh, double click and also check the work mode. Uh, the UDP means connect to King Kong's cloud server. Then you can change to the TCP client and also input the IP uh, is this Amazon and your own private IP and the part is, is this one. Just this uh, modify setting is safe. So this is two way for old controller, and this is for new version controller. When you set, uh, you can press save. Uh, then your controller will auto connect to this. When you connect here successfully, you can see the connection number. Uh, now is connection successfully. We can open this window for monitoring the controller, and we can press on. And two, you can see I have connected one lamp to output one. And this is LD indicate for two, three, four, five, six until 32. You can open. This is the speed for remote country by the URL server. And when I press the key, you can see the mobile phone also update the state. If you have many devices like uh, uh, by the Windows PC and by the a tablet or by the Android pad, just open the network browser. You can see this window, and all these windows release state will be auto updated. So you can see when I press the key by the hand, you can also see this window in the computer is updated, and this country speed is also fast. OK, this is very easy. Just import the follows and uh, set the IP and the part of the server. Now you can counter it by any device. OK, this time I will tell you how to change the title and the relay name. It's also very easy. In this follows, we have used this icon. This is switch, uh, just this note. And you can also press the button. Uh, the switch is for on and off, just left and right. Uh, you can double click. And you can see the label is really one, just this really one. You can change this for lamp, uh, for any other device name, you can change it this way. And this is the title of the website. Uh, you can see the dashboard. This really controller, you can just this way, you can edit, and you can change the test uh, in this way, and the relay one and the relay controller. And the button, uh, when I press, is open and close, uh, is where to change. You can just as this function. This is send the command, uh, open relay one, and this is send the command, close relay one. So you just 
change this string. This string, you can see our protocol in our website. You can choose any bytes. So you can country any really output. This node is for on off by menu country. And this is for judgment. It's true or false. So at least we can send two different functions for different stream to output. Output to this send command to controller. And uh, this this node, this node is receive the message, the feedback from the controller because when we install the switch terminal board and the switch panel, uh, when you menu country, it will have feedback. Uh, this is the feedback uh, when I press the key uh, on and off, uh, will feedback different stream. So we can also uh, judgment the different stream, the different stream for change the state uh, true and the false of the button of the switch. You can see just a different uh, true and false to change the state will update. So this is channel 1. Uh, this is channel 2 and channel 3 until channel 32. Uh, just the thing. So you can also uh, place a new button like already on and already off. Just change this function, uh, replace this stream uh, for the corresponding stream will be all on and off. off. Also, you can uh, turn on relay 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, just uh, any channel on and off, just uh, change this function will be OK. OK, this is how to integrate your relay controller to your node red uh, for your cloud server. Thanks for watching.